Hello everyone and welcome back to, well, the Spear, not the Spear cast, the Ironside cast, oh my bad. Anyway, we're here on the Eastern Front, even though it's the map road to Arnhem. But we'll go through the sites, it's on Eastern Front, however. Let's we'll start with the Germans, we have Manolo, as the Waffen Assess without a commander. We have Theo, also the Waffen Assess without a commander. And finally, Jack at Duke Roblox, also without a commander. It seems like uh, Waffen Assess is very popular. Represent the service today. We have Perfect Tactical Noob, without a commander. We have Rachel, without a commander. And finally, rounding out the search, we have Muru, also without a commander. I suppose they'll pick stuff once they start to see the enemy. Oh, wait, Rachel's just going for a commander. I think this is shock, and indeed it is. This could be interesting. Storm Pioneers are rushing into the center here quickly. They have some sandbags amongst the light cover and ammunition scattered around. But quick again to come back with the Sabbaths. And I think the Storm Pioneers are going to have the upper hand in that engagement shortly. Meanwhile, we have some troops from the uh, other Soviet sides quickly moving around the flanks, trying to secure ground. Road to Arnhem can be a pretty wide map. It's usually a 4v4, but it looks like they've uh, played it out at 3v3 on it. So it might be a little bit easy for me to get a look at everything that's going on. We'll have to see. The Germans have secured the sender, so they will be getting... Get a little bit extra uh, I mean, forces, but resources when we get to that point. Because this double Storm Pioneers up here fighting against the double servers. Double Storm Pioneers do have heavy cover, so they should win this engagement pretty damn handily. And we have some Fatoviki quickly rushing up behind this truck. Trying to apply some more fire, but more and more Storm Pioneers are arriving. And Storm Pioneers are pretty damn resilient infantry. Also, it's our arriving though, and if you give the service long enough time, they will start to get enough men to just to just have so many of them. Plus, every model down for the Storm Pioneers reduces their combat effectiveness far more than the Soviets. And these cards can just be used to merge in with the Fontaviki if need be. And they no wait, they uh, take the spot of the Fontaviki. Hmm. I would just have merged in and then retreat the conscripts, but that's my own personal opinion. I'm sure Rachel did think about that. Both ones we get hitting southwards though. Triple Storm Pioneers for the southern flank. That's a lot of Storm Pioneers here. Where have they got all these Storm Pioneers from? Looks like Fio has gone for SS Panzer. I see the key symbol, which indicates the first SS. Okay, we have the 17th, what are the 17th again? They are Panzer Jäger. Do we have a command chest for the southern one? Not yet. Most of it's also pushing up alongside a Maxim now. Maxim Machine Gun can certainly be a problem here for the Storm Pioneers. Storm Pioneers rushing forward, you're not sure what they're doing. Oh, yeah, chance again to range for a great assault. There is a lack of Soviet infantry around here to stop them at this point, so... This Fontaviki is certainly in trouble. Indeed, they might have to get cleared out. Oh, almost. Should probably retreat, yeah. And the servers are now rushing up here because they got access to the Maxim. Maxim will help suppress the Waffen SS forces, which allows the Soviets to advance. And the servers are quickly taking advantage of it. Good Vanguard and MT402 moving up to support the northern flank. Good flanking maneuver, actually. The servers do not have this flank covered. The Kulvang is actually being a problem. On a Maxim has arrived here for the Soviets as well as a universal carrier. Unique to Shock Army. Then leads from the British Commonwealth. <laughs> Soviets are trying to push up here, but they've only been able to deny the fuel points. While this is going on, the Germans are also advancing to the southern flank, causing a lot of damage here to the Soviets. Equipping their Storm Pioneers with MP40s. Leaving an MG34? Uh, oh, that's actually an MG42, I think. Looks like the Soviets on the southern flank have also gone for shock. But they have lost a lot of their units. Universe has to pull back. There's a Panzer picture somewhere. Yeah, looks like there's a Panzer Jäger squad here. There's also one down here which can deny this Universal Carrier. 
as the Panther Booster can basically just pierce from the arm of the Universal Carrier, as you can see. The Soyuz are quickly repairing the one up here. I need fuel. It seems like they recognize there's two shock armies. That's fine to not coordinate. It's just a game to play for fun. Most of the funds of Vigia being suppressed though. Double MG42, one in the Kulvak, one in the Sun Gunner here. That center point is going to be very hard to dislodge them from early on. Was an MG34? No, it might have been MG34 down here still. No, it's just as a scope. Hm. That's a lot of Storm Pioneers and Storm Grenadiers out here in the open. If they move forwards here, this maximal mow into them. The Soviets have suffered a lot on their flanks. Universal Carrier trying to move around here. Quick minefield being laid here by the Germans. But the Storm Pioneers have no anti tank equipment. In an easy target for this Universal Carrier. Mindfield does get set up. Panzerbüchse gets set up inside the structure. Injuring the driver. And so it's trying to push in again. And to apply pressure. Up here the Soviets and the Germans still having a little bit of maneuverability in their fight. Montevica trying to move around here, but NG42 has to target it. Made his tossed. So it comes also moving in there, just trying to apply pressure. Lots of pressure trying to be applied. MP40 eyes and out here to the Storm Pioneers. But more and more Soviets are appearing. Kulwagen gonna killed. And also the Universe carry pushes up. Applying even more pressure. Also some Hitler Youth squads arriving here to help hold the front line. But well, it's not letting, letting up, they even got a unit of shock troopers now to help. Much higher quality infantry is also very, but they're also very expensive. Was there something hit there? Looks like we have some Panzerfaust from the uh, Panzer Grenadiers. Not Panzer Grenadiers, but Panzer Grenadier Division Grenadiers. A cheaper unit available to Panzer Jäger. Arrives with Panzerfaust, which is pretty handy. The fight continues. The Soviets are slowly pushing the Germans back at this point. So it's also fighting up here. Until we've been calling on the Maxim. But the Fontavica remains around. The Germans pull back briefly. The shock troopers are still fighting. Fontavica getting mowed down by the MG42. Just so the Fontavica does make it though. Oh, they don't mean to move that. Maxim still still about. Should probably move that up into a better position at some point. So far, this happens to cover the flank. Shock troops are slowly moving forward. Oh, they need to be cautious though. They're Kubel Wagner's around. Using a flank to get suppression in. Needs to be cautious though. And more is raining hell on the southern flank. But the Soviets need to get some more infantry out, and indeed we are seeing more shock troopers being prepared here by the Soviet Union. Now the Universal Carrier also sticking about. Looks like it might go for a hunt on the Kugelwagen. So I think the Kugelwagen actually has issues dealing with the Universal Carrier. Yeah, it's gonna get around here in the corner. Yeah, there we go, killing the gunner again. You know, the Soviets have managed to push up on the northern flank, which is bad for the Germans. Suddenly the uh, Soviets are a big problem here. The Germans are quickly pushing back and forth with the infantry. They haven't suffered many losses, but they still have to push up as one big force. Which could make them vulnerable to an attack. Looks like the Soviets are also going for a commander here. I think this might be Tank Destroyer. It is indeed Tank Destroyer. Looks like the guards are waiting in hiding here. But they have been spotted. They might as well just open fire. Especially with their granat books are flying around them. And they decide to pull back to more cover. Smart move. 
We're under a lot of fire here. More to do being called here by the map and officers. But Maxim is sitting back to the front line. The guards have to get out of there, but it might be too late. So they do make it. You know, the SS supplies place in the center again. Just having a long firefight. And the South remains firm in the German hands despite the mortar bombardments. Guess the Soviet shock army is preparing to push soon. Here is trying to push for the fuel point here. They have been equipped with a mine, mine detector. But a Maximus laying into them. Making it not that easy to push up here. They do manage to decapture the point at least. It was also made up with a machine gun inside this structure. Also, this might be an MG42, if I'm not mistaken. It could also be an MG34, for all I know. It's which window that is. Windows, that is. Oh, that's an MG34, my bad. You know, the fighting almost continues down here. We do have a command, Panzer 4F1. Riding for the southern, uh, not for the southern, riding for the central flank of the Waffen-SS, a command tank. What shock troopers are about. Need to be cautious though. Because that's gonna be a lot of machine guns. They're trying to take, take out the Kulwagen though, and they do succeed. But now there's a uh, Panzer 4 F1 coming for them. There is, a, there is a Valentine tank on the northern flank though. Which could probably be turned around to deal with the command tank if they need it. So for the command tank, it's not too keen to overextend yet. Valentine tank so far maintains its position. Fighting with a Puma at the moment. Puma having issues dealing with its frontal armor. As more Soviets arrive. The Valentine is surprisingly decent for a light tank, so uh, we don't underestimate its armor and gun. It's a British vehicle provided by Lindley's, I believe. Which the Soviets became very fond of for as, a, as an aggressive recon tank. Actually takes up the Puma! Ammo cooked! Looks like the German Storm Pioneers on the move. It's because when they move though, there's a lot of shock troopers here. Not sure who wins this engagement. So shock troopers have equipment with a DPM, but not a lot of other equipment. That said, the shock troops do have some light cover here. There's a the universal carrier coming to support as well, and looks like the Germans win uh, lose that fight, I mean. The Soviets won out thanks to their body armor, probably. So it's a fortified and open flank again. This is now in their hands. The Panzer Portier is being prepared by one of the German players. The sensor remains in German control, at least for the moment. But so it's like keeping an eye on it. You also have a, a field gun coming out here. One of the more unique units available to um, Shock Army. So it's a light artillery piece, basically. Surprisingly decent at dealing with infantry formations, from what I've seen. And more and more mortars are gathering on the southern flank here for the Soviets. As they keep sealing the front line. Germans are trying to flank around up here. Giving a minesweeper close, that's very smart. And the Soviets have prepared mines after all. Valentine needs to be cautious in its movements. Then continues in the center here. Shock troopers taking and holding of a building. The artillery strike is being prepared here by the Capitan of the Soviet Army. Preparing a 122mm fire mission. I would like to see the 152mm fire mission though, but we rarely see it. It's very costly. They just wait for an artillery strike to hit, I think. Does take a while to get called in. Bong is being braced, which does mean they cannot fire back. Which allows the Soviets to move up and get the ground. Artillery has been called here by the command tank. Bungus deduces gun at artillery strikes, so the Soviets have an opening. There's also a scissors gun now to keep our eyes on the Panzer Force.
but his Siskan does not perform well at long range at penetrating. Has decent damage if it can penetrate though, as you can see. But so is now pushing forward to secure the sender. It's very little to stop them. The Soviet shock troopers are now having a fight with the pioneers. They did manage to get a very good grenade off there. Looks like Manuel has also gone for SS Panzer, I see first and sister. The double shock and do double panzer. Versus Panzer Jäger and Tank Destroyer, so pretty funny that we basically have full on mirror matches. Well, not really mirror matches, never mind. Panzer It's nothing like shock. Uh, I'm stupid. At least on the north it's a mirror match. Oh, looks like the Valentine hit at mine. Didn't see there was a telemine right there. My bad. Panzer 4G might be in trouble here. Looks like the Panzer 4 Command Tank also went down. Looks like the Panzer 4G might be able to back off safely. T-34 76s are now arriving here for the Soviet Army. Will the Lancer slowly push up further and further? They don't underestimate the humble T-34 76. It can still get the job done. Especially in great enough numbers. It's fairly cheap as a tank after all. Field gun moving up here probably just to help clean out the buildings. It fires high explosive rounds only, so it's pretty damn good at dealing with such things. It does have a lot of uh, range in its own though, as you can see. Oh, looks like a Panzerfaust or Panzer Shrek hit the T-34, but it survived. Right now, the field gun is just being a target though, it needs to be a little bit closer. Or at least in order to do an artillery strike. He is providing a good distraction though, I guess. Panzer 4 J's are arriving. Two dollar Panzer 4 J's are arriving here. For the sender. Working together as a team. Two Panzer 4 J's working together. It's always going to be a little bit of a threat after all. And that field gun might get cleared out. They're trying to pull it back, but I might not help them enough. And the SIS gun is so far failing to penetrate. You, you, you feel that it's been cleared out. SIS gun so far is not doing a good job. T-34 needs repairs down here, but another T-34 has arrived. Smoke grenades are being popped to give the search more time. They need to use the angles if they can, so the Panzer Force don't dare move up. Because one or two AT grenades from the Soviet infantry squad is enough to destroy a tank. And the Soviets are ducking up here and continuing a long fight with the Waffen SS, but the Waffen SS is having issues pushing up. They have brought in a artillery observation stock, though, to help. Panzer Force advancing again in the center. They're going for that T-34, getting a good rear shot. That's one T-34 gone. And the tank grenade hits one of them. And anti tank grenade hits the other, doing a fair amount of damage. It's going to force the Panzer Force off for a while. Molotov to watch the building with the Hitler Youth inside it. Might be too late for that squad. No, looks like the squad's going to try and make it. And the Panzer Force, uh, not Panzer Force, T-34 has arrived. Misses. Gets penetrated in turn by the Panzer 4 J. And the northern flank remains firmly in Soviet hands now at this point. Also the Panzer Jäger is having a hard time pushing up on the uh, tank destroyer Soviets. You know, the Soviet shock army on the southern flank fails to get a lot of ground. Still not able to push far up. Huddling around this destroyed building. There's a lot of corpses here. Looks like a lot of shock troopers might have died recently, and I missed that. Oh, double sis tap! Oh, damn! That's rare. When it happens, it's painful. You have a target. So let's continue to begin. They have had before the HQ as well. They can maintain a pretty big presence here. Germans keep moving around here. Task 
So these guns are doing their best. Now taking out the buildings. That building might get abandoned by the Germans soon. Also the Soviets are going for another assault in the center here. Capitan and shock troopers in the center. Artillery strike is being prepared. Gonna be a heavy one. There's also an Ostwind now to support the Panzer 4 J's. 4 T-34s have been gathered up. So it's a truck to help facilitate repairs. And that's... So many artillery strike will at least cause some disruption, even though it's not going to hit much. I did clear some sandbags over there. Well, not really. So it's remain firmly in control up there. Just as Germans remain firmly in control down here. Although the Soviets are slowly trying to peek up with their SIS guns here. Taking out fortifications bit by bit. The right. Soviet infantry has nowhere really advancing across the open spot in the center. Tanks and German infantry has quite, co quite covered down. Zeroed down, that's probably the better way of saying it. And I like the Soviets have this, this above the wire and everything. Making it more and more difficult for the Germans to advance if they actually push through. Just controlling the battlefields and the environment of it. Obviously the Germans are going to try and flank northwards. And that, uh, the tenant is not going to last long, I think. I do like the Soviets are trying to lay mines, but the Germans are just laying too many, uh... Or just bring too many minesweepers with them at the moment. We're gearing up for some kind of tank fight in the center soon. Soviet Capitan trying to move up here to try and restore order to the front line. Oh, Molotov in the Storm Pioneers. They don't want that. So we start calling around the bunga here. Now the Soviets have some good cover positions with the office nearby. So the Germans decide to fall back. Oh, but they throw a good bike grenade while they do so and do a lot of damage actually. Now so the Ostwind is now threatening the other flank here briefly. Just to help apply some pressure. While this is going on, the Soviets are advancing on the southern flank. Shock is quickly moving up its position. And before these are trying to lay into them. So this guns are being used as auxiliary pieces. That's not going to be enough, I think. Yeah, it's just too much uh, German presence. Well, those SIS guns are doing a lot of work, to be honest. More T-34s are arriving, though. So the T-34s are also moving around somewhat up there. A lot of movement across the front line. Took us a foot hit the, uh, the southern flank of the Soviet Union. Doing a fair amount of damage by the looks of it, but doesn't kill the shock troopers. It's the most important part. They destroy one SIS though. Panzer 4 moving up in the center here. That's going to be a lot of fire aimed at it. SIS guns and uh, T-34s. Need this size to pull back. The German infantry is trying to push through up here. They're getting some kind of success this time. Just they can avoid the fire of this bunga. The Sturm Grenadiers really are getting uh, Sturm Gewehrs, which is unique to them if you're playing as Panzerjäger. Giving them quite an edge in the firefights. And this is going on. The shock is also advancing on the south again. And there's also a little push in the center here. Bit by bit, the service needs to just keep pushing somewhere. And so far, it looks like it's succeeding in the south for now. But for how long? Oh, 
I feel so destructive we should get a second one. Probably should invest in the PPS Ages. Drum magazine PPS Ages are no joke. They can do a lot of work. Even if it might get overextended at this point, especially with the Panzer Strikes not coming up with the Storm Pioneers. Indeed, Panzer Strike hits the T-34 and destroys it. Not good. As soon as the Fus also rains in, rains in death. There's a Bongo nearby though, applying some uh, machine gun pressure. Oh, they destroyed the, uh, the gunner with one rocket there. The shock troopers are trying to get back into the fight though. Having a long firefight there. You know, the Soviets uh, continue to cause havoc on the northern flank. Yes, this is getting a Yacht Tiger. I had it saveable this time for a Yacht Tiger. Oh, okay. We're just going to see the heaviest vehicle of World War II coming onto the field soon. And the B 4 has been set up by the Soviet Union. Super heavy artillery available to the Soviet Union. Known as Stalin's Sledgehammer, I'm pretty sure, as, as its nickname. That's a lot of shock troopers now. And what is it actually meant to, it's actually meant to survive? That's a squad you don't want to engage easily. You should actually probably start getting the heroes of the Soviet Union perk. Stupid the forces are firing. Down here looks like the same for the shock troopers again. At least the front line. Not doing much damage. The Waffen is suffering a lot of losses on this northern flank. But the Jagdtiger is moving. And the question is if they can keep the Jagdtiger alive, because it's quite a... It's quite a cumbersome beast, I must say. But it is powerful. B-Force firing, not sure where, probably somewhere in the center. So and see if we can follow it around, so I imagine around here. Not far off. Looks like it's hitting back here. Plus, a serious amount of damage, actually. Tiger tank is being prepared by the tank commanders. And there will be free shells from this before being fired. The Yacht Tiger is making its move bit by bit. So it seems to be cautious about fighting this thing frontally. And it's almost impervious to anti-tank grenades as well, I think. Because of how armor it is. Of course, except the rear. But this thing is ridiculous. I think it's the most heavily armored vehicle frontally in the game as well. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. It's not, it's not often we get to see the Yacht Tiger these days. It's too costly to get. And very cumbersome, as it should be. Most heavy vehicles should be cumbersome and not easy to use. Should be a lot of risk involved. We do have some Atta Tank Guards with a Storm Pants strike up here. They hit, but it does not penetrate. The frontal arm of this thing is just too thick. You know, we have a Tiger Tank arriving here. Not nearly as thick. But still thick in all the right places. There was also a tank, a tank, a tank down here. But clearly its thickness was not enough. Having lost its gun. Stukas and fires again. Trying to apply more pressure first. Stukas and is being prepared. Those are the Germans just going to try and flatten this part of the map down here. Panzer 4 and uh, Tiger Tank on the move. I need to pour myself some more uh, sparkling water. Is sparkling water the right term? I think it is in English. In Denmark we call it Danish water if you translate directly, it's weird. Basically water with bubbles. I'm trying to cut down on the soda, so I think it's a good alternative. Oh, and I... the bottle just fell over, that's my bad. <laughs> ah, that's good. Also looks like the Tiger destroyed a truck. What truck? The Tiger then does seem to be cautious. It's not as armored as you'd think at this point in the war. Most Soviet things can actually penetrate it, I think. Oh, Panzer IV got penetrated by a cis gun, doing a lot of damage, you can see, actually injuring the driver as well. It's gonna be stuck for a little bit as they replace him, or at least put someone else in the driver's seat. 
Tiger Tank advances. Pants apology. Let's not make it. Let's not make it an escape. Pants strike is nearby. Pop, uh, smoke popped. It's going to try and make a retreat. Lots of rockets landing around, trying to stun all the Soviet infantry. Need a success in stunning them. I mean, the tiger should be able to make it escape. That's a close one, Spiggy. Forget the tank rate, but it's not. It does not penetrate. Oh. Oh. Yakti got an open flank. Slowly pushing forwards. And it looks like we have the Soviet counterpart now. The ISU 152 coming here, but it, unlike the Yakti, this one is not as armored. It does have a big gun, though. And the big, big gun might just be what they need to help take out the Yaktika. Because I don't think they can get around it as easily. High explosive round has been loaded by the Yaktika. Aiming around here, I imagine. Oh, it looks like they're canceling the uh, explosive probably seeing it as a waste at the moment. It's slowly advancing. Siskon trying to get shot in. High explosive now loaded. It's going to aim for that Siskon. That's going to be a dead Siskon. No! Oh! It hits the sandbags! Well, this going to, the Germans are trying to push back down here in the south. They've lost basically all the infantry. Now it's just Tugas of Fusus. Relying a lot on the rockets. The Soviet infantry just do not care. They do take some heavy losses, though. Yeah, losing those shock troopers is not a good thing. Shock troopers are very expensive. Like a technology of IS world. We do have an IS-2 around here for the Soviet Union. Which, with a high, with an AP around, could probably kill the Tiger. The IS-2 is actually quite good at killing Tigers, or used to be, before they changed it, with their firing only high explosives rounds. It's sort of an AP round, but the Tiger backs off. You don't want a Tiger to be hit by an AP round from an IS-2. Tiger tank remains around the center, second Tiger tank, be prepared. We're gonna have lots of heavy panzers in this fight, aren't we? As she remains around, the Yaktiga has been pulled far back, so be to safety for now. IS-2 pushes up. It's starting an AP round for the Tiger. Tiger needs to back off. That's a very risky place to be for that Tiger. Yeah, as you can see right there. Heat round hits the IS-2 Patriots, does not do enough damage. I suppose now being loaded by the IS-2. It's wants to, to try and kill off the Tiger. The IS-2 is probably the most heavily armored allied tank, I think. It's definitely the most heavily armored uh, Soviet tank. Oh! High explosive hits, but uh, does not kill. Almost kills the IS-2. Uh, not the IS-2, the, the Tiger tank. IS-2 is going for it. That's very risky. IS-2 has a very long reload rate. I think it's like up to 12 seconds. Smoke round being popped there, very smart. It's trying to protect it. Oh, on a high explosive, does not kill. Oh! I think the IS-2 needs to cut its losses and retreat. It's wasted too much time there. Panzer Force going for a flank. IS-2 is alone. The closer the Panzer Force gets the easy, it has to penetrate. Oh, it fails to penetrate! High explosive does not do much. I do think the high explosive from the IS-2 should do more to tanks. Because the IS-2 should be like something you really fear when it shows up. Even in a tank engagement. Oh, it's because it fires... Yeah, not like that! That's, that was a good insta kill there with the high explosive. I guess it's just it's a chance. I guess the high explosive it technically penetrates and instantly kills. I issue having a fight here with the Yak Tiger. So far it has not penetrated. I issue by oh, 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 oh that was close. And that's the fight of the heavy guns up there. But the Soviets are still advancing. But the Soviets need to push through the center somehow if they can, but they're just applying a lot of pressure still. That's honestly all they need to do. If they can keep applying pressure, they can bleed the Germans dry. Bit by bit.
The ISU remains about there. Probably should get a little bit of repairs just to tune it up entirely. IS-2 also being repaired down here. More Super Sufus rockets going in. Probably hoping to hit the IS-2. Oh, I, yeah, IS-2. They hit the engineering staff, that's for certain. Of course, mobility damage. So the Tiger Tank might actually try to go for it. It would be a risky maneuver, in my opinion, but who am I to judge? Yeah, she needs to remain cautious. And that's why it's been ordered to hold fire. Need to the side where it wants to hit with its gun. Especially with that Yak Tiger around. I think the Yak Tiger only needs to penetrate the ISU once to kill it. E4 starts sending in. Oh! I think that was a Stormtrooper squad. Oh, that was a, that was a Panzer squad, actually. Yeah, of the... Uh, of these guys. Panzer radius. B4 can be quite lethal. AP round on here by the IS-2. And it destroys the Tiger. Because, you need to be cautious of the IS-2 when you see it. It is a very dangerous tank to come up against. Now, if the service could get a little bit more support down here, they could probably start advancing with this IS-2. But a second Tiger tank has already come to replace. There's going to be a lot of Tigers. Oh, big hit here from a SIS gun. Pay and train the Tiger. Gonna force it back. Now the IS-2 is going to slowly start advancing. Shock was coming up behind it. The German state mines. I do not see any regal mines or teller mines. That will probably be the good choice to try and immobilize. Even destroy it. Second IS-2 is being repaired by the Soviet Union while this is going on. So it's laying more about why I'd like to see it. They make it more and more difficult for the Germans to move about if they want to do a counter assault. Which is exactly what you want to do. All rockets going in. So far getting no real luck against the IS-2 with it. But attack tank is still gonna try and make a go for a shot. Doesn't penetrate, but also a good amount of deflection damage. It still needs to be cautious of the IS-2 though. Because of that AP round. With the second IS-2 soon. It's going to be even worse. AC-100 being heading southwards to try and help. We have another IS-2 in the center though from uh, Rachel now. So we're going to see a lot of heavy armor here. Oh, good AP uh, penetration there from the Tiger. But AP round will from the IS-2. Ah, Tiger gets out of range. So it was still about though, but there is a machine gun. Yak Tiger down the center here. Trying to push through this uh, Soviet front line. Running high explosive around, but it's uh, being penetrated bit by bit by all the AT guns. And it's on even terrain, it's something easy to hit. IS-2 on the flank, and the ISU. Oh, they got a penetrating the shot there. That's gonna force the Yak Tiger off. Tiger tank pushing up while this is going on. Need to be cautious though. Issue 100 quickly point its gun that way. Ooh, got, got penetrated by a SIS gun. We do have a command pan for arriving as well. Lots of fighting across this front line here. You can kind of see where the front line has stabilized. But the Swiss are trying to get more ground. But that's a lot of machine gun fire. That's going to be a dead shock trooper. I wonder if the fighting is going to settle in for a little bit and be a stalemate. Never know. 
But the IS-2s are probably waiting for... to be fully prepared before they try again out down there. Shock troopers are slowly probing. Time for commands hanging moving forwards. The Panther might actually be a better choice against the IS-2 than the Tiger tank is. Because of the better front armor. Stukas and Fus convoy on the move. That is a lot of rockets. That's going to be very expensive to fire long term. IS-2 has been spotted here. One rocket strike going out. Doing a fair amount of damage, actually. Tiger Tank is going to try and go for a kill. Pushes far up. Second rocket strike going out. AP around below here by IS. They get stunned, though. The IS-2 is also hitting its uh, suspension. And here comes the rest of the Panzers, but there is a Sisk gun covering this other IS. IS-2 could get, get, get penetrated though. IS-2 is pushing too far up. It's taking a lot of hits. Needs to keep the front of the enemy. One Panzer for us go down though. So the IS will be able to safely back off. While well, this is going on, and IS tried to push in the sender. But it's being met by a Yak Panzer. Big artillery strike going in from the Soviet Union, though. Clearing up most of the defensive positions the Germans had prepared. Yes. ISU also showing its presence. When IS2 is repaired, the other one definitely needs repairs, though. But the Soviet structure was doing their best to hold this flank. But Germans are slowly pressing. So it's pushing for the sender. He's securing the central point at least. They could actually soon threaten the uh, some of the German head headquarter buildings. T-54 pushes up. Encountering a storm pioneer with a rocket launcher. It's hit. And this is gonna be a long one, isn't it? I was warned this one would be long. SG-100s are slowly pushing forwards. This is actually quite deadly again for the Yak Panzer, I think. But I think the Yak Tigers from Lava can hold up. Hold up against for a while. Ice 2 pushes forwards. Gets hit in the side by the Yak Panzer. Yak Tiger trying to take a shot. Instantly kills it. One Yak Panzer takes out, gets taken out by an AC-100. But now they know where the Yak Tiger is, and that the Yak Tiger is their main worry. Also, the Tiger Tanks and Command Panthers moving towards the, down the road. AC-100s have turned. ISU also turned. Smoke popped in. Just rushing straight through everything. And rockets going in as well. Somehow the Yak Pan the Command Panther is still alive. Actually causing a lot of issues. Allowing the Tigers to slowly push up. But the Tigers have taken some hits. I shoot destroys the Command Panther. I shoot some big big trouble. The Yak Tiger trying to push up. Takes out a, what, another issue 100. I shoot 152 has to pull back far. The Tiger Tanks have been heavily damaged too. Another Tiger Tank pushed towards the main road. It's hit in the side by an AT gun. And ISU is definitely going to need some repairs for a while. Another IS-2 has arrived here for raid shield. German officers are advancing forwards. Trying to secure some ground. And this fight has gone on for quite a while already. But neither side seems to be able to really push through. 
At least for now. Tiger Tank taking, taking aim here. But so does the ice too. Tiger Tank has to back off. He's been very cautious around this IS. But the attack can just keep backing off whenever it sees the IS. Also, the IS-2 over here also got destroyed, probably by a rocket strike. Structures are pushing forwards, but they need to actually hold up to fire. Oh, main gun destroyed on an IS-2! It's gonna force it back. Smoke, bu smoke pop by this Tiger. He needs to back off, he knows there's another IS-2 nearby. Oh, engine burst, that's not good. I tried to overdrive it and it didn't work. Overdrive does come with the risk of you bursting your own engine and suspension. Because the tank is simply too heavy for the chassis. Yakti came behind the sender here. Low, doing a long range shot by the looks of it. But the eye is two backs off. We in for a very long one. But I do like that um, Mura up here is just fortifying. Made it more and more difficult for the Germans to push forwards if they try to make a comeback. They've even laid some anti tank mines behind the barbed wire. Well, that's good. That means that if you drive over them with a uh, tank, they're just going to get immobilized or take some heavy damage. But a Capitan has arrived as well. This is, uh, officer attrition has been pretty high in this front line. Yes, yeah, and first there's Panzer Grenades in the field now. Going a blank couple to cover themselves, but that's a lot of shock troopers. So mostly just with a DPM. I guess the DPM is doing a pretty decent work here. Oh, more than those Panzer Grenades. Oh. We have lots of Tigers still on the front line, though. Three Tiger tanks. Full on Tiger Kampfgruppe. That's a successful charge there from the Sabbaths. Just clearing out some of the cover here, but not really too much effect. This Yacht Tiger remains in the center. And with all these Tiger tanks on the flank, it's not going to be easy to flank it. They can easily just quickly relocate to help. The fighting continues. We do have a rocket strike here from the Super Supers. Aiming around here for the sender. Doing a fair amount of disruption. As is the point, it's more of a disruptive weapon. Oh, this one might actually be fully mobilized. Or almost mobilized. So it's meanwhile trying to push down here, but more rockets stop them. We have a lots of rockets being used here. Tiger tanks on the move! That's a lot of Tiger Tanks! German Recon is dead, though. And Bongo might also be cleared out here. But the Shock Troopers can only do much against these Tiger Tanks. So it's like the most of the equipment to actually deal with them efficiently, because this one IS-2 could quickly get out over manned by three Tiger Tanks. Oh, B4 hitting the center here. Dazing the crew of the Yacht Tiger. And more rockets going in. Man, I've not seen so many Tiger tanks in a while. It's gotta be weird having so many Tiger tanks. But the IS-2 is being repaired by the Soviets. To help counteract it. But James is still trying to figure out how to advance from here, I think. This is a Soviet, so I need a side committee advance at the moment. They're still trying. 
Infantry trying to push north here from ja Jack and Duke of Roblox. Encountering the Soviet recon team out in the open. I guess that's why they keep their own recon team nearby to keep an eye on such things. And Yaktika is fully repaired again. And veterans in fall. That thing is getting quite dangerous. The Tiger tanks remain down here in the south. Oh, being hit by something. That was hit by an SU-100. Rockets are quickly flying to try and counteract that, I think. So far, not getting much luck. That's a B4, I think. Yeah, that's indeed a B4. And the Germans are trying to push up here. Jagdtiger is present. Great's being tossed towards the German troops, though. Yaktiga slowly creeping forwards, but the fight is really what's going on down here. That's the big one. B4 quickly trying to keep sh shelling towards the Tigers. I assume needs to coordinate if they advance. We'll begin up one by one. It's just going to get them killed. High explosive do a good bit of damage there to the Tiger. So the Tigers are no, they're not smelling blood just yet. Need to be very cautious here. Because if they just move in one by one, they could get a, a traffic jam that will make them an easy target here for the for the guys too. Oh yeah, they're moving around the, the structure. Got a good shot there. That's gonna force the IS-2 off. But IS-2 coming out on the flank though. Oh, IS-2 down! AP round has been loaded up here. Nope, needs to advance. The Soviets can't replace the IS-2s willy-nilly, though. They're actually quite costly for a tank. As you would expect, but they are coming out still. Yeah, the Soviets on the northern flank just remain digging in. Getting it on an SG-100 probably to help support their allies. Having an SG-100 on your flank is pretty handy, after all, because it is a pretty big gun. More stupid of is moving about. The Act is trying to make a move again. There's a lack of heavy AT in the north on flank specifically, though. And the B force is still still in the front line. They're only causing more and more damage. The B-Force are very costly to keep fielding. And are cheap. Hey, it only costs 60 minutes or so for one shell, actually. Hmm, so it might actually be fairly uh, cost efficient for what it does. I right, just to pull back there, I got hit by a rocket by the looks of it. Short was able to make it through the center now. That's gonna quickly become a problem if the Germans gonna pluck that hole. Because if the service can make a breakthrough through the center here, they can start doing a lot of damage. Tiger tanks on the move. Siskons are trying to stop them. So far, not having much luck. High explosive being leaned here at the officer. Smoking in on him though, as he keeps doing his barrage. No, no, he cancelled it because he gets smoked, that's right. He actually decided the target. Because he's a Soviet officer. Yaktia trying to move up to pluck the hole in the center. Sukhusufus is heading to the northern flank, probably to soften this defensive line here. Not as many people manning it yet, but it is a very impressive defensive line. Not gonna be easy to push up on. Issue 100 took a shot there, did not penetrate. Siberians are distracting. The yeah, actor can just take the shot so far. It's not really stopping it much. Yeah, 
<laughs> you had to ask him where those sneaky issue 100s are, because they know they want to kill him. Oh, meanwhile, the B Force is chilling close to the Tigers again. <laughs> the issue 100s are everywhere. When the trees start to sound like Russian engines, you know there's something wrong. <laughs> Oh, rocket hit one issue 100 and he's instantly got it. And yeah, Fio just said, got you. <laughs> Good shot there from Fio. Tiger Tank trying to make a move down here. Needs to be careful still. We do a double B4 now. So one of them is set to counter barraging. That is a pretty good counter barrage to be honest if it can hit. You can just hear the B4s in the distance. Just hitting across the front line. The Germans are slowly feeling the pressure of uh, high caliber Soviet shells. So the Soviets keep digging in, laying, in, laying more lines to the defense here in case they get pushed back. I like guess it's good to see. I don't think the Germans are going to push much in the north anymore. At least until they soften up with the rockets. Might be setting up a lot of munitions for it. And they're actually even relocating some of their own troops. Stormtroopers being relocated. Are they going to do a full on triple barrage? Like if they wait almost uh, one more minute, they could do. Uh, they can use all three stupid surfaces for a full barrage across the entire front line up here. It might be what they be what they're waiting for, but they have been spotted on the way. The shock troopers uh, took the shots at them. Yachty are moving up here. Okay, one rocket launcher fires, second rocket launcher fires. Third is not gonna fire yet. Now the Germans need to make that move quickly. And while this is going on, the Tiger is also advancing on the southern flank with a command panther. As he did. It, they're attacking at two fronts at the same time. It's actually pretty smart at this point, but an SU-100 penetrate the Yakti can almost kill it. Wow! That was big. All this going on, the Germans are assaulting down here. Oh, while this going on, the Soviets are pushing through the center. They're going to try to and see if they can cut off that Yakti. Oh, they've left them right open here in the, in the center. Oh, no. Rockets are fine. Close range, though. Getting a very good rocket in. Even that IS-2 very heavily damaged. But the Soviets keep trying to advance. And it looks like the Luftwaffe also flew overhead. Completely missed that. IS-2 fights here in the southern flank. Took, took out one Tiger. Got a good shot in the second tiger. Need to be very careful with this IS-2 still. As you can see. As I said, the IS-2 is no joking tank. Takes out another tiger. Holy shit! IS-2 is doing a great job here. But it is immobilized. And a panther might be able to take it out. Yeah, takes it out there. We have some other tank guards trying to sneak around. Is there any recon infantry? There's no recon infantry. Oh, without any recon infantry. Oh, they're laying mines in the road. They've been spotted though. Not sure by what, but they've been spotted. It might slay the mine, though. Oh, 
Let's see what spotted them though. I mean the officer? Yachty is trying to advance, there's not ISG 152 though. That's a pair trait, but that's a lot of damage. On the deflection. Tiger Tang near the center now. And my throat is gonna be dry after this, isn't it? They're still trying to push up here, but they are meeting with the barbed wire. And remember, barbed wire keeps negative cover now, unless it's the reinforced one. So it's actually very dangerous to be near it. Oh, Yakti got took out an SG-100. But gets taken out by the ISU with 52. And with that, the uh, Germans have lost the thing holding an open flank. And with that, the Soviets are going to try and advance. Siberians taking the way alongside the Sabbaths. They need to take out the gun on that bunga. Like that. I'll just destroy the bunga. That works too. Well, soon we're going to need to spend around there. Grab the flamethrower. Not sure how much use that'll be. Let's actually take out the squad there. So it might actually be a good choice. Great. More grades being tossed. Another Yakti has been called in. IS-2s are still breaking havoc in the center. Tiger Tank has been pushed up to try and deal with them. You also have another, the command path is still moving around on here and another Tiger on the southern flank. But he's dealing with a lot of pressure now. Rock is landing around the ISU doing a fair amount of damage. It's got to be completely immobilized. Let's take out an HQ structure though. And now it's stuck. Panzerjägers can easily get on the flank here. But Maxim is covering it. Alice to get repairs in the center again. Tiger Tank is completely being relocated to the center to try and help hold. But the Tiger needs to be very cautious with its movements. ISU still creeps up. It looks like the truck prepared its uh, immobilization. Second Yachtiga has arrived here. We also have a Soviet major now arriving on the front line to keep up to oversee the fight. Probably it's, it's from the Soviet view. It's getting close to an end. Command Panther tried to flank the IS 2 here. But IS 2 takes it out. There's a lack of German support near it. As she advances far here. Vehicle detection now available. German has to be cautious near the ISU. It's still a little bit high explosive rounds. But the Arctic is coming around the corner. Chalk trying to get out of there. Titan, the center tree is still trying to hold the ground. Yikes, like so much fighting in this one. But I feel the Germans are slowly being bled dry. Titan pushing on the nice two here. Oh, Petra the IS-2. Oh, that's a, an AP from the IS, though, but the Tiger Tank wins out. It's gun position cleared up by the Yacht Tiger. Or t 4476 is now being called in to try and show up the front line. But I do feel the Germans are somewhat being let dry. Well, they do have the manpower to get replacement infantry if they need it. At least some of them do. IS-2 pushes up. And then counter the Tiger-2. Oh, it takes out an officer squad. One shot there.
Titan Titan takes a shot, does that penetrate? AP round from the ice, two being loaded. Ammo wrecks the tiger instantly! Need to be careful when facing the ice too afterwards, I've said. I do feel the Panthers, and we indeed we're gonna see a Panther now. I do feel the Panthers might be the better choice against the IS, but that's just my own opinion. Our recon squad is gonna get spotted. Yachty remains about and being a threat. Another ISU, oh, ISU here needs repairs. T-54 starts slowly amassing up. B-25, B-4. Damn. The Germans have lost a lot of ground. So the Germans are not giving in yet. Yeah, the, the front of the, uh, front of the Jagdtiger is no slouch. I think it is the highest front arm of any vehicle in, uh, in the game. You can take a lot of punishment from the front. Watch your teams laying down fire here towards some panzer grenades. No, those are stupid grenades, yes. Oh yeah, the German infantry signs will be lacking in presence. I'm mean, relying mostly in vehicles at this point. And Jacket is uh, basically out of everything. He could, he could easily get some more infantry though to support. It's gonna take up to get the infantry building, right? That makes sense. But it's not looking good for the Germans. Titan moves up the road here. Oh, that's a B4 shot! IS-2 so advancing across the open field. We need to take out that... Oh, B4 hits another shot nearby there. We need to take out that, uh, that pack gun. Both, two, both pack guns, actually. IS-2 is taking uh, some big shots here. Rockets being fired close range. One IS-2 taking out. And the other one days from the rockets. It's being hit by a lot of a lot of guns at the moment. It's gonna try and take out that tiger. It might be too late for it. Yeah, tiger kills it. But the tiger is immobilized. It's gonna be going out here. Will do anything? Yes, it actually does, but doesn't kill it. What is going on? The ice is pushing up here. Yachtiger slowly prowling around. Playing a careful game of the uh, cat and mouse. Ooh. Titan definitely needs repairs fast down here. E4 shots landing near it, though they don't want to allow it to get repaired. The Arctic remains about. It's trying to get over that ISU. It is dazed. Oh, one shot almost kills it. Might have to back off at that point, though. The tight yak team takes a lot, a lot of time to re to uh, reload, as you can see. I suppose around loaded to take, try to take it to maximum, I imagine. Oh! Panther gets a shot and the ISU kills it. T-34 is on the move. That's a lot of T-34. Tiger tank on the flank, though. The force T-34 is to back off. It's gonna try. It's gonna try its luck. Does penetrate and gets instantly killed. 
Oh, not much of a surprise there, to be honest. Also, the Germans managed to repair this Tiger tank. So it's ready for action again. This is really a heavyweight fight. We are over an hour at this point. Yikes, I hadn't even looked at the time. Oh, this is a long one. This is a real long one. Are the Austin arriving as well? And now it's so far somewhat quieted down. I think both sides are kind of exhausted. And see, if I had to play a match this long, I would probably get very mentally exhausted as well. Stugas and Fusas is doing their best to just apply pressure. Tiger tanks are near the center here. Ooh, B4 shots landing near them. Oh, so they're covering each other's flanks. That's good to see. That's what you want to see Tigers doing, working together. And just moving in the blob, back to move them tactically to cover each other. But the B4 rounds are landing widely around the front line. Another Austin here. That's a special charge, though. It will be able to will be able to back off, or oh, barely. And the Yachty is not going to deal with fortifications, as you can see. It's a tank destroyer, not much else. Oh shit! That was a super heavy barrage, called in by this officer. We actually saw someone use it. Oh my god! I did not expect to see someone actually use it. But the Germans supposed to avoid this, you can see. Still, that was a lot of explosions and a lot of smoke. But the search remain around. They're still not being pushed off yet. Not an ISU 152 arriving. Oh, we have boy the Panzer Sherman start being called in by the Panzer Jägers. Not sure how useful that will be, but who am I to judge? Shermans are pretty handy. They're definitely going to deal with fortifications. Oh, uh, I have to push up here where it gets hit by the Panther. Need to switch priorities. So it's to hold all the munitions points, which is certainly going to give them an upper hand in the long run in these fights. This is just a long slog at this point. A very long slog. There's just so many heavy tank wrecks scattered around. And like here. Pan for Tiger. IS-2, IS-2. IS-2, IS-2. IS-2. There's so many IS-2 wrecks. IS-2, IS-2. There's so many IS-2 wrecks. Holy shit. Lots of heavy armor in this one. Panther does need to be cautious still. Even if it does have superior front armor than the Tiger against the IS-2. And switching to the Panthers was probably a very good idea for Mano. As it allows him to uh, fight frontally and stay against frontally. With the uh, IS-2 a lot better than the Tigers. Sure that Panther does not do as much damage if I have as high penetration. But the armor mobility should more than enough uh, pay off for that. Ooh, almost destroyed there. Driver injured. Tiger tanks staying close to each other here. Have to spread out in case uh, B4 fires. 
Yachty remains at the flank here. You also have some shock engineers down in the field. I feel both sides are just trying to experiment to try and see what they can use to break the stalemate. Oh, Boy the Panzer is making a move. Loading, moving northwards here. I don't think that, Oh, do they have an ISU for anything too prepared? Yeah, those Boy the Panzer is not going to get far when they encounter that. And there's also the minefield right behind the uh, barbed wire. That's one boy the Panzer King curve. Mines is oh that's a lot of mine. Ah, I like to see Muru lay some lot of minefields. I like that. Makes it very difficult but to just advance, so they have to actually clear them out with their minesweepers first. But you can see it's making them very easy targets out in the open. So the foods have hidden northwards here. Might be paying to support for a push northwards again. We need to clear out the bungus here. Then the mines, obviously. Just the tiger tanks on the move again. So the foods are now firing in this front line. Doing a fair amount of hurts, but not enough. Another IS-2 pushes up here. Now threatening another forward HQ. Tank tanks also getting into position now. That's so much heavy armor. Another IS-2 hitting southwards here to help. And shock troops on the flank. So he's just trying to get into as many angles as they can. Troops of Fuss fires back. Heavily damaged is one eyes too. T-54 is also on the flank ready in case they need them. Trying to make a move here needs to be cautious though against the Panther. They do apply some pressure still. Oh, it looks like the Yaktiga took a big hit. But from an HU-100, or it might be in the ISU. Regardless though, the Yaktiga has to pull back. Oh, t is going for it. Trying to see if they can get behind it. One strike to ram. Oh, shock, that's not gonna allow the other team to move. IS2 is coming up behind, it has been immobilized. That just makes it an easy target here for the Soviets now. Not a ram, don't think they need to ram there, but who am I to judge? Half is moving up to try and engage, engage with this IS2. There it goes, I yakti go down. Long match. Real long match. But I'm seeing it through at this point. Pampers are flanking up here now. Cutting some good, getting some good shots in that ISU. T54 cleared out. The service are like new mines, the more they move up, I like to see it. They make it more and more difficult. One Panther taken out there. Red Air Force flies up ahead to just scout. Might not last for long though. It's being shot out by a lot of flak. And even the Ostman is joining in. Why is two formed up on the southern flank? 
Man, I've not seen so many heavy vehicles in a long, long time on one battlefield. Because the Fuses are backing off. Now the Panther arriving here. They're also sending in all of their heaviest armor for this one. But the source is just slowly pushing through. Is Jacket gonna save up another Jagdtiger? Are we gonna see another Jagdtiger? If so, that's gonna be a little bit ridiculous. Where would it be from? We'll be in here, but we cannot see, see it because of, uh, we don't have the same UI as the players. So the Germans are trying to take, get some ground in the center again. Oh, they're not encountering more infantry. So that allows them to push up. Is somewhat. Yeah, there's a lack of Soviet infantry. Shock was still uh, getting back into position. Also, the service might actually go for a base raid at this point. That's one way to try and end the fight. Destroy the other side's base. But it's feeling like the uh, Germans won't surrender for a while still. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're trying to destroy the base, base buildings. Very cheeky move there. Panthers and Tigers pushing on the southern flank, takes out the IS-2s. Rockets are landing about. More IS-2s might move to intercept. So for the Panthers doing a good job keeping them at bay. B4 shells are landing around, but the Tigers keep advancing. Oh, they were going to drive over the recon infantry, but he started to retreat. But he still died. Oh. Well, the Soviets are pushing into the base here. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to take out the Stukas and Pusses. Engine stalled, though. Yes, yeah, so the Soviets going to call him super heavy. No, this one wouldn't have super heavy. Still heavy, but it's not super heavy. But I think I'm calling in the heavy artillery around here. Yikes. German Panthers have secured a bunch of ground, though. Titan tanks are moving to circle around. Panthers moving up again to help. Oh, good shot there from the issue 100. There's on one tiger and one shot. Hams are moving up to get it out. Let's apply some rapid fire shields towards the IS. I think a critical hit on it actually. You know, the German base is in tatters. IS is just slowly clearing out the bungus. So the Germans are running on borrowed time now at this point. That's probably why they're pushing so hard with all their armor down here. But they're dealing with a lot of Soviet resistance on the way to do it. Once these guns are being pushed forwards. Also trying to make its way up this road. But hit by a cis gun instantly. So far, it's back, able to safely back off, at least for the moment. Thanks to the help of the other Ostwind. No, no, never mind. Sis takes it out. Then you have you can set up layered, uh, layered anti tank guns to cover each other. That's a good idea. IS2 just keeps wrecking havoc. Yet another attack attack has been prepared. 
Oh god. It's time for action. The Soviets have caused a lot of damage here. Yagajuego roadblocks is certainly in a hard spot. Like at this point they've just fought for so long. Like I could easily see them just uh, surrender or call it a stalemate at this point because they've been fighting for almost an hour and a half. And the battlefield is quite devastated because of it. Hammer's moving through the center here. They want to try and tag team that IS I'd, I'd wager. But it's not that easy to pull off. Oh, B4 shot lands on them. Doing some stunning. And suppose it gets taken down here by a uh, SU-100. Uh, Artillery strikes continue. Stugus and Fuso opens fire again. Sending out more rockets into the sky. Doing a good bit of damage to actually. These IS are actually in trouble. IS Houston going to try and make a move for it. Gets Panzer Faust though. Does destroy and do a lot of damage in there. But the issue has to back off. Tank tank tries to advance again, gets hit rapidly by SIS guns. In quick succession. Takes out the uh, IS-2 though. I know it's IS-2. I know it's the issue 100, my bad. Looks like the Red Air Force is keeping an eye on that Tiger tank. But that IL-2 might be shut down soon. Because most of the Ostman is gone, it's not gonna... It's gonna take a lot longer to take it down. Storm Gunny is gonna make a move for it. Using a lot of Panzer Faust, doing a good bit of damage there, but it's just gonna get prepared. Oh wait, that's the Panzer you can hear, mate. Misses and destroys the truck instead! We are suffering vehicle losses. Damn. Such a long battle. My throat is dry, oh god. That's what I get for getting such long matches to cast, oh god. Half a team is on the move still. I'm honestly surprised they're still playing at this point. Yet another IS-2 arriving. This is so many ISs. Just so much heavy tanks. Looks like a little cis gun got a cheeky little shot here on the Panther. There's only a 57mm at that. So it made you keep an eye here on the front line, but he's taking some losses there. We need assault going his way. Didn't even make a proper move. Stukasofus is on the move. Uh, a Stukasofus and double Ustin is on the move here. Lots of sabers being prepared by the Soviets, so I wonder what they're planning. IS-2 is pushing through the center slowly. We haven't seen on the Arctica yet. The Germans are going to realize they have to intercept this push soon. SG-100 moving alongside the ISs. Provide support and coverage. Oh, B-4 shots are landing, destroying more of the HQs. Not looking good here for the uh, Germans. 
Also, the Tiger Tank's gonna make a move on the southern flank here. They're not out of it yet. As two is covering the southern flank, though. But you see, with two Tigers working together, it's not a good thing here for the uh, IS. And if the IS gets taken out, you know, they have IS in the center, though, fighting against a very veteran Panther. Now has to be cautious to one AP round of penetrates is all it takes. But the frontal armor helps it here. Got a path of dust could take out though. I think by the ASU 100. Yeah, the frontal armor of the Panther is better suited at dealing with the IS 2's gun than the Tigers is. Still not looking good here for the Germans. Until the Soviets have just kind of broken through. A third Jagdtiger ah, is going to get on the field. We are going to see a third Jagdtiger, holy shit. Like, even both the two Jagdtiger wrecks are close to each other. What the hell is this? <laughs> Looks like the Tiger tanks are being relocated to the center. Yes, they do need to hold that. That is a lot of sappers. They're still advancing through. The nice to get destroyed? No, I just got heavily damaged by the looks of it. Oh, the SC 100 got destroyed. Hard keeping an eye on so many things. Will the new Yachtig arrive in time and will even be able to save the day? Half on the move. Just be caught with that ISU around. All rockets landing. And the Titan tanks are slowly advancing. That's gonna be a dead pan for. Yep. One shot to the side there from the ISU. Titanics are doing their best to try and relay and apply pressure. Plane gets shut down. And lots of Soviet artillery going in. But the third Jagdtiger is going to hit the field. And while the Tigers are pushing here in the center here. Also gets cleared out. Yachtig arriving inside the German base. I saw the advance, they cleared out all the AT guns. So the IS is to deal with though. Oh, guess this gets hit though by one of the ISs. I think it was the ISU, I think. One IS does go down. Jagdtiger is on the field here, the third one. Slowly driving forwards. Lots of shots going out. And we have yet another Tiger arriving. So many Tigers. IS2s are going to encounter the new Jagdtiger. It's been dazed. But the Yacht can decide on it. There we go, one good shot there, almost destroying it. This is just crazy. Almost an hour and 40 minutes at this point. Absolute ridiculous battle. It's very rare I get battles like this, I must say. On a B4 shot landing near the Jagdtiger to daze it. Titan moving on to try and deal with his T-34 soon. It's gonna make the T-34 make a drastic move. Oh no. It's not sure where it wants to go. There's the Tiger's coming. Oh, 
Oh, he knows he has a shield against the tiger. Target vehicle marking available. And I both I just complete the tire at this point, I would say so. But more ISs are still rolling in. Start pushing upwards here, not sure where else what the plan there was. Probably just a scout. I still pushing down here and the southern field. Actually, that's this is sender. The battlefield just so destroyed, I cannot really take make a difference of it. If it just looks so destroyed. Once I has got a call to quit soon at this point. Galactic is ready again. I assume it's moving up here. I should probably be careful. Super Sufus fires again. Oh, got a very good rocket down the ISU. Galactic is going to take a shot, I think. Yeah. He will try to move it away, but too late. Putting a heat round. Doesn't penetrate. What a surprise. It's gonna try and ram, but too late. But the Soviets are advancing down here. Hit the Germans is just cannot really do much more at this point. Whenever they try to push on one flank, the other flank, the other flank just caves into the Soviets. So it's not really working out at the moment. Rise to there. Just keeps coming. Here's another tiger. So much tiger. So much IS, so much heavy armor in general. Triple Sisk formed up here. Hits one of the Sisk guns. Got the Sam's trying to move in up here. Oh, they might try to move in to try and. Demolition the base. Do a satchel charge is on, and the bunker does not, not have a gun anymore. They're getting into the German base here. And the 42 MG42 trying to set up. And with the MG42, obviously, it's not going to work for the Soviets. MG is just going to mow them down. But the IS is on the move. The Germans have what they need to stop them. Tiger Tank is going to try and do its best, at least. Well, it's not going to... Oh, that did not do any damage, actually. Let's buy a few more shots, though. Oh, yeah, no, that's a dead Tiger. Yagti is going to try and go for it. It's going to try and move to the flank. It needs to be cautious, though. H100 has it trailed. Gets taken out. Looks like Mano finally calls the GG. Which one was Mano though? Is the Soviets that called the Mano? No, it couldn't. Couldn't have been. It's a, it's a, one of the Germans that's calling it. Yeah, Mano. Okay, yeah, Mano is the, the, one of the Germans. There's no way the Germans can really make a comeback at this point. They've just been so bled out. And so it's just continuously gathering and pushing forwards. There's a slow and sure war of attrition, which the Soviets are the best faction at. IS-2 is moving around here. I'll try and get down here to deal with its remaining Tigers. The last two Tigers are going to do their best here. 
Oh, got this. Oh, he'd, he'd rather not penetrate. What's he for also surviving? The Arctic is in a position to help, though. But it's trying to deal with whatever's coming from the north there. B4 is landing around it though, and got a good shot sh there from the Sis. So the T54 is going to go for it. IS2 is going to advance towards the Tigers while this is going on. Engine is damaged there on the Yacht Tiger. But the T54 still not have enough time to get close. Instead, so they're going to pivot southwards towards the Tigers. It gets taken out. Well, not an IS, the other serpents are advanced down here, but just a lot of AT guns being packed together here. And now the B4s are landing around here, too. And at this point, the Germans surrender. It makes sense. This is the shell is about to land. I hope you all enjoyed this long one. And I'll see you all in the next video, everyone. Bye-bye.